Welcome to the greatest show of all time! You're saying it goes to bias. How does it go to bias of this witness, sir? How would it not go to if you see something in the news? It's not a proper legal argument, sir. Okay, well, I don't know how you want me to answer How that. would what he saw subsequent to his investigation impact either what he did beforehand or his testimony here? You have to make an offer of proof as to that. Without that, I'm not going to allow it. You, you didn't allow it anyway, so what do it matter at this point? I'm giving you the opportunity. It's called an offer of proof. Okay, I said I'm I would aware, recall the I'm witness well aware, if I determined. I'm determine. well aware what an offer of proof is. I'm okay, well aware. so make your offer of proof. I, I don't need to. It's, it's clear. It's very clear. I don't see anything funny either. It's not funny, sir. It's just it's a circular argument. It's The person that was, that was referred to know who they are. Well, your Honor, it's hard to stay on task when it seems like... The prosecution can ask essentially anything they want to ask. Mr. Brooks. But then when I... I and so there was an objection. I'm aware, I'm aware of that, Your Honor. But I'm also aware of the fact, and it's, it's clear, that I object quite often. And every single time I object is, is just thrown to the side. Every single time. Well, I would disagree with that characterization, and, sir. And I make my rulings in this why case would you disagree based... With that? I'm like an umpire. Time. I'm like an umpire in a baseball game, sir. I call and see the legal objections as I see them. That is my role, and that is what I do. And are you kidding me? That's that's exactly what I do. I'm an umpire, sir. Your I'm, Honor, I am a referee in this trial. If you're the uh, and umpire, and let me finish. Okay. Let me finish, okay. Mr. Brett. Uh, uh, now you whether said the that. state's I doing other things, I'm up, only right. asking you to address. I want to address your position because you said you're like the umpire, right? Well, I'm not get, Okay, go ahead, sir. I'm not sure why you need to respond because, to that. Because it, it needs to be on the record. If you're the imp umpire, that means you're the referee. That's what I'm and, doing here when, today, sir. And when you're not, you're not refing fair if. The jury's not allowed to hear things that they that's important for them to know. I respectfully disagree, sir. Again, just because... What's well, my reason for asking um, it? Well, I believe you've made it very clear, sir. So here's the bottom I, I line. I don't. One of my roles is to be the umpire. Then you got to be right? fair, Your Honor. You're a public I servant. Need, I am fair, and I'm no, going to follow not. the you're rules not of fair. evidence, Your sir. Honor, that this doesn't is why mean I say that. unfettered question you're not, not that you might though. not think it's always fair but it's i not. disagree with the characterization i think it has you knowingly and freely and voluntarily and deliberately made a choice to represent yourself and, and you keep I saying that because that it sounds good, good on the record but it's not peril. it's not Stop interrupting me the jury's coming out we're continuing with this trial despite your repeated efforts to disrupt That's yesterday sit down record. yesterday alone sir 17 interruptions, not including the opportunity that I gave you where you spent 50 minutes, okay, discussing what were primarily either irrelevant or baseless accusations and requests not based in law or fact. You didn't want to I'm answer. going to step off and give Mr. Brooks five minutes to cool off. And I'm when not, that I, happens, I don't I'm to bringing cool the jury I'm not, I'm out. Not angry at and, all. and you've seen photographs of Daryl Brooks in, in other contexts, is that correct? Objection. Yes. I do not consent to being called that name, nor do I know that individual. And it's Go ahead, you may answer the question. Speculative. It's not speculative. Clearly. Yes. The person you saw get out of the driver's seat of that SUV on November 21st, do you see that person in the courtroom today? The yes. Objection. It's hearsay. How he's speaking as a uh, first eye hand witness. Um, overbroad. Between Mr. Brooks' appearance today and his appearance on November 21st? Objection, hearsay, and speculative. Um, it's neither one of those things. The objection is overruled. The witness may answer. Objection is irrelevant. It is relevant. He may answer. Not if he identified me already, so he said. Mr. Brooks, please. The objection's been overruled. The objection. Overruled, you may answer. Relevancy. Go ahead, you may answer, sir. Long. That scene as you saw it today? Yes. Yes. Overruled. Yeah. Move. Move. He hit the gas with his red Ford Escape and used it as a battering ram over and over again, striking men, women, and kids.
We talking about this? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I don't see the relevance for this. Um, your objection is noted. It's overruled. Uh, the court receives Exhibit 7A. First of all, good morning. Good morning. And happy birthday. Thank you. And I don't think it's fair for the for me to object to hearsay from the uh, prosecution of, about the, along the lines of the same type yeah, of thing. I'm not gonna have, I'm gonna again directly I'm not to directly ask from his report. The report that he that he wrote. Nothing nothing is coming from I'm reading directly from his report. That's what I doesn't I'm change saying. the fact that it's hearsay. You said what? That doesn't change the fact that it's hearsay. So that his it report creates is another hearsay? level of hearsay. It's an out of court statement. So Madam Clerk, from the jury out, please. Clear bias. Clear bias. Mr. Brooks, I understand you I may I disagree don't with the. I to being called that name. For the record, again, I'm here as a third party intervener on behalf of my client. I don't know why that's not understood by now. Your position on that? Any legal basis why that would not be accepted, Your Honor? You have to have a person named sir so that they can come and testify you only have an entity named is it uh not true that under the sixth amendment i have the right to face my accuser state of wisconsin to testify in this case uh, because they are an entity and you have not named a person are they not are they or are they not the plaintiff your honor they are the plaintiff in this case sir and why are they not uh, able to testify being that they so you've not named you've named an entity not a person people are called to the witness stand to testify uh, federal uh, case uh, United States you're asking me for legal advice I'm not going to provide that I'm to not, you even with me not being able to face my accuser which is the state of Your Wisconsin position is noted sir is that a judicial determination all right I believe the jury are you going to answer that your honor or is no. that a type of agreement? I'm not going to answer that further. I've answered it multiple times. Is attorneys that have been with you from the beginning. You understand that, right? No, I do not understand that. Including even the angry outburst that we've seen in court. The avoidance of his to responses to questions to asked. I object to that, that because his, at the end of I understand the day, you, Mr. I, Brooks, I, object, that, I don't think you have a PhD, um, Your He Honor. can be, dis, in my opinion, deliberate on his uh, behalf. Object to that. His recent information that before no this relevancy. court regarding his mental status has no and his understanding of what is going on. That has no relevancy to this why court has been today. able to. The lawyer may be of assistance. Understands that a lawyer may be appointed if the I defendant is indigent, and understands the disadvantages of self-representation. Everyone said I understand. He is voluntarily and freely waiving As the right to be fact, represented by. Understand. Council and is making a deliberate choice to proceed without. We have two options, sir. We either address them right now or I have to come back yet before the trial or decide all of them on the morning of trial, and I'd rather not do that. Uh, that might be the way to go because I, I don't know what issues you are referring to. I provided you yesterday as a courtesy with a copy of my oaths of office. My name is on that as well. They, they were not you are anymore. attempting to disrupt with asking questions like this. I am not. Um, I realize it may very well be related to your uh, claim to be a sovereign citizen and disputing the claim to be sovereign. Uh, That's correct. Jurisdiction of this court, but these are not questions this court is obligated to answer. I would answer. like to correct the record and say that I am sovereign. All right, you believe you're sovereign. The record is corrected. 
I'm I want you here. Of that, Your Honor. Mr. Brooks, you haven't let me get in one sentence this morning. <laughs> Uh, and it is only when it's 8.57. Our tone of voice doesn't change the fact that we've had a dozen or more interruptions by you and by you alone. When you don't like the answer I give, even if that's a non-response, you continue to ask the same question over and over. You repeat yourself. You show absolutely no respect for the court, for these proceedings. You have demonstrated in the short, not even 30 minutes that we've been on the record, that uh, you will continue to disrupt. I am going to have the jurors brought in. Um, again, it is my sincere hope that you follow these simple and basic rules, but the next interruption, you will be removed to the next courtroom. I do not consent to any paperwork that is not based falsely in law. I do not give my consent. We have the jurors here. And I do not, I will not agree to anything. Not yet, okay. So again, with that title, I object respectfully. With that title name that is on your card, since you will not answer the question, but I've merely asked of your honor numerous times at this point, can that title name please direct the prosecutor to answer whether there are any more charges? Please direct the prosecutor to answer whether there is assessment for the charges Mr. Brooks, in her position. No one's going to be answering these questions, okay? I'm not requiring the state to do that. I'm advising you to stop asking those questions. It will be considered an interrupt. He's interrupted. I Take him to the next the courtroom. Name. I'll make more findings when he is in the courtroom uh, next I door, and I can do honor. that without any interruption. Or agree to a stop when I uh, interruptions of the court, and um, I understand he objects. His objection is again once is noted, um, and because of the disruptions, and based upon the authority in Illinois versus Allen, um, I also referenced yesterday a persuasive case. Um, it's not at my fingertips. I'll get that for the record. It's the Pennsylvania case that I uh, found to be of persuasive value, uh, where a similar procedure was done. Frankly, what we are providing here in Waukesha County through the use of the technology we have in the We were able to verify the audio is working. Uh, the video is working just like we can see him. He can see us. Should he desire to raise any issues with the court, he is advised to write that down on paper. Uh, the bailiffs are instructed to promptly provide that uh either to the court staff that's in there or another bailiff, and that will be provided to me forthwith so that I can raise any issues of merit. I noticed that uh, one of the jurors, the lady in the black that's closest to the screen in that corner chair over here, I recognize her from um, my initial appearance. Um, she flipped me off coming in to my initial appearance and coming out. I noticed her for a fact. I seen her. About like how I'm looking at you right now, so I know for a fact that's her. I don't want that to end up being an issue. Is this some type of way that could be addressed by your honor? Um, Bottom row, the the last black chair. Black shirt. She had the black they're shirt. All black chairs, sir. I have indicated to you on the record what I will or will not do. I would like to motion for a finding a fact. Your request is denied. The next, May your Honor explain why Mr. Brooks, I'm going to go through these one by one. I allow my right under the First Amendment to freedom of speech in this courtroom. Um, the right to be heard in court, will that be honored by your Honor? That's a valid question. Mr. Brooks, that's a constitutional I right. have given you ample opportunity to present information. I cannot explain to you if you don't understand the basis in law for the denial. You're right. I don't understand. But so, I, I but that doesn't with, mean we're going to have a discussion was, no, or a I'm debate about you. that you will not interrupt me. It's not about me trying to interrupt you, Your Honor. Mr. All Brooks, I'm, let, is, I'm going to address the next one, so you, please pay attention. What you were saying about decorum, I was asking, does that fall under the First Amendment? Because the First Amendment, which is my constitutional right, says 
that I have the right to freedom of speech and to be heard in this court. Mr. That's Brooks, all I'm again, you have the, the you are interrupting me. Stop. Because you're talking about No, because you're, you're purposely doing this, but so I right. can't get my or you will be removed to the other courtroom. Will your honor honor my first amendment right? Or I'm not answering that question, sir, because I've already addressed it. So you're making a judicial determination to deprive me of my constitutional right? I am not right. making any such determination, sir. So that Mr. Brooks was requesting medical attention and reporting a small cut to a finger as a result of uh, when he was removed from this courtroom and taken to the other courtroom. Um, I was further advised that there are no um, signs of blood and that when asked, he refused to show his hands. At this time, um, I'm not going to pause the proceedings further for him to be seen by jail medical. But at I'll ask a third and final time, sir, what is the legal basis for your objection to the jury instructions? I can't even hear what she's saying all the way. You want your headset. Mr. Have. Brooks, I can hear the deputies over there. Um, I know they can hear me. That's been confirmed. Um, there is the headset available to you should you wish to use it. If you can't hear, I would ask that you put them on. Mr. Brooks? Get through this process orderly, efficiently. When necessary, I will unmute him if the court has questions to what you have put in your filing only one other observation your honor that um since i filed that the events of the last couple of days i think further support my do you understand uh, what the state is referencing as it relates to the other acts evidence i do not understand would it be fair to say that you are getting paid right now as we speak yes i'm getting paid right now by whom? Objection, relevance. Were you subpoenaed by the plaintiff in this matter? Can you rephrase the question? Were you subpoenaed to testify here today by the plaintiff? Can you explain it in another way? That was, that was pretty clear. Were you subpoenaed to testify by the plaintiff in this matter? I was subpoenaed by the Waukesha County Prosecution's Office to testify in this matter. Is the Waukesha County Prosecution's Office the plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Irrelevant. Sustained. Do you know of any plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Irrelevant. Sustained. Objection. Irrelevant. Have you ever talked Sustained. To the, have you ever talked to the plaintiff in this matter? Objection. Irrelevant. Sustained. Um, why are you continuing to look at uh, parties that are not asking the questions. Objection. Argumentative. Sustained. All right, let's bring the jury back up. Don't uh, consent to being called by the name that this court chooses to identify me by. Um, I want to state for the record that I'm here as a third party interviewer on special appearance on behalf of my client. Can that be noted for the record? It was noted this morning. May it be noted again for the record so that we can keep the record clear and accurate. Let's bring the jury out. And we have yet to address subject matter jurisdiction, Your Honor. We still haven't, I still haven't been shown any verified proof that All rise. this court has subject matter jurisdiction. And at this point, may I request an affidavit that you, Your Honor, have no bias, no conflict of interest, and no interest in the outcome of this case? Mr. Brooks, the jury's coming out. We'll address your legal issues later, if I deem them appropriate. Judge, do you hold the full Mr. judicial Brooks, power please, of the state, or is please, this the military right, can power? Can you please take the jury out? Thank you. All can be seated. Mr. Brooks, just make your statements. What do you want to advise the court today i want to first say, state again for the record that i do not identify by that name nor do i consent to being called that name uh your honor um with all respect uh, i'm merely asking you do you have the full judicial power of the state or is this military power 
I'm asking for the record. Is this a common law common common law court or an admiralty court? What 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 are we in here? And I'm I'm requesting an affidavit that you, Your Honor, have no bias, no conflict of interest, or no interest in the outcome of this case. Um, and the reason why I'm, I want to state this clearly for the record um, mainly is because of the bias that's been shown. Um, I have not been getting any uh, certified copies of any requests that I've made, which I was told by this court to uh, address inmate communication forms for anything that I, that I may need. I've done that. I've complied with that. Every time I've needed something, that Mr. Brooks be instructed to stop making comments under his breath. This witness is very clearly having an emotional and difficult time testifying, and she doesn't need to hear that. Objection. She can't hear anything I'm saying. Mr. Brooks, the mics are very good in this courtroom, so please refrain. All right, keep going. Thank you. So we will begin at the beginning of... Who is you? Uh, Errol Brooks, the defendant, seated at the table. Um, let the record reflect that I do not identify by that name, nor do I know anybody by that name. The objection is noted. Are you a party? Objection. Grounds. Irrelevant. Grounds. S sustained. It's not relevant. Do you have a claim in this matter? Objection. Irrelevant. Grounds. Sustained. Have you read the complaint in this matter? Objection. Grounds. Irrele not relevant. Sustained. Do you know who the plaintiff is in this matter? Objection irrelevant. Grounds. Sustained. Very clear, I will note a continuing objection uh, to the issues he raises regarding his name and other things. Um, he's There are filings that substantiate that. Submit to that test. Not at this time. Why not? Not at this time. Why not? Why can't I get the results of the test I already took? But you're telling me you're scared? You're yes, fearful, I am. I but you am don't want to take a test that might tell took, you today? I took the test that that he, he gave me. If His behavior started very early on. Um, I gave him ample, ample opportunity uh, to abide by the rules of decorum. I gave him ample warning before he was removed. This court, frankly, has no other option at this point um, other than to uh, write down his objections on a piece of paper that will be provided to the bailiff, the bailiff will provide it to me, and then I can rule on those um, even if it's striking testimony later on. I do expect his objections to be based in law. Well, it's a statement by a party opponent, so it's not yourself. Oh, it's his statement. Sorry. Um, miss, I think I misheard what she said. All right. Um, the objection is overruled. Um, if it's, uh, she may testify as to words that you spoke on this occasion. Go ahead. He told Erica that he was going to find her and he was going to kill her.
Brooks. We talked about this uh, at a prior hearing. Uh, for purposes of identification, you're ordered to unmask. Thank you, sir. Further information after she is done testifying, I will give you that opportunity. Will she, will, Your objection will she to, is overruled. Will she be able to stay right there so I can ask the question? Um, it's not your time yet. You have to wait. So this is the final warning. Okay, I've given you a lot of leeway today. You, you have not, Your Honor. You haven't. Can we pull up uh, Exhibit 5 for the witness, please? to say objection before she answers. You objected she after answer. she, she answered. Didn't answer the last question. The objection is noted. It's overruled. Her answer may stand. Next question. And so you're going to overrule everything, Your Honor? All right. Mr. Brooks, you have got to stop. It's, it's fine if you object. I will rule on it as I deem appropriate under the rules of evidence. Which, by the way, I provided a copy for you. See that big book over there? No, it see. has the criminal statutes. I don't see. It has the traffic code. It I has the rules see. of evidence. Well, it's on your table. It's that, uh, behind the microphone, and it's there. I've provided it to you as a courtesy so that you have that you, available you to you. anything to me. Something, right, I'm directing the bailiffs to remove them to the have, other courtroom. I've that, provided ample opportunity I've, I've never, for Mr. I've Brooks to abide anything. by the simple rules of decorum and Your civility. Honor. Your Honor, I don't he is, or agree to what you are doing. Your lack of consent, consent is noted for the record. I don't give consent to an estoppel. I don't I'll give make consent. a more full record when we um, are open again to, to the public. Estoppel. I don't give consent to be removed. Uh, Madam Reporter, the record should reflect uh, the court is stepping right. off the bench. Uh, you may step off. I move, I move for a motion to dismiss. You still haven't even ruled on the claim. There's no one that even has a claim against me here. The question was, where was the list at? That's true. Um, so you said the list was in your cell. I'm advising you that I'll give you the opportunity I to go. Do that. Can I finish? I'm advising you that you. Um, are being given the opportunity, if you so choose, to go back to your cell to obtain the list of witnesses that you have been working on, the list that you have in your cell. How am I supposed to do that without I'm telling you, I, I'm giving you the opportunity I'm, to I'm go not, get that. I'm not so, go do that. Mr. Brooks, I'm not, I'm not gonna play games with you. I'm, I'm giving not, you I'm an opportunity. Gonna, and I told you you that either I'm go not to your cell that. and you get the list or not. You said I have the opportunity to do that. You right. said I have the opportunity. I'm, I'm not, not going to demand to that. that you do it, but you have to understand, sir, that if you I choose not understand. to do that... I don't understand. I don't understand. All right, I made that clear. I don't you know claim how to not understand, and that's been made very no, clear. I don't here, understand. Sir. You're so. not going to get me to consent to something that I don't consent to or agree to. I do no. not understand. All right. Just Mr. Like Brooks, I don't we're going to take a recess so that the court is, can is, get this is information like on I've the state. You from the okay, he's continuing with his disruptive behavior. It is his choice to do that. Mr. Brooks, you are hereby warned once again, if you continue with that, you will be removed from the Remove courtroom. Removed. Removed. Requesting to go to the other courtroom. Removed. I told, I told you that before I even came over here. Sir, are you requesting to I go? I told you that before I even came over Mr. here. Mr. Brooks, are you that requesting? It was pointless of me to come over here. You can smile on you want to think Sir, I, my, I don't, my I don't take this as a joke. I don't take this as a game. You, my you preference have, is for you to be here. You expect me to answer all these questions that you have for me, Your Honor, but you have yet to answer one question that I've asked you. You have yet right. to verify anything you by the time You can take them back to the other... Uh, room that has been disruptive. Thank you, ladies you and gentlemen. We'll have to exit the courtroom. I don't agree to a stop when I move this court for a motion to dismiss. The record should reflect that. The record should reflect that my rights are being trampled on. Mr. Brooks, the record should reflect that. That I don't agree to a stop. Pause it right here.
have identified the driver of this SUV who plowed into a crowd at a holiday parade in Waukesha, Wisconsin, as 39-year-old Daryl mm. Brooks of Milwaukee. We want to vote, and the 15 people down in the street. We also want to go multiple critical Police say an officer shot at the SUV to try to stop it, but had to stop firing to avoid the crowd. Thank you. 